Get lots of great questions from prospective students here. They want to know, can I work when I'm there as a student, an international student? And what other things can I do besides traditional paid work? And then what are my options after I graduate? Um, so that's what I've summarized here. First of all, the on-campus employment, that is automatically allowed for all international F1 visa students. So probably most applicants in the audience today would be coming here with an F1 student visa, not everybody. Um, sometimes we have dual citizens, uh, permanent residents, or people who are here with a different visa category attending our programs. But let's say you are an F1 visa student uh, and you want to work. Well, you can do that on campus, automatically allowed up to 20 hours per week. So I've abbreviated that in 0 0.1, 20 HPW, which is hours per week. And that's when school is in session. They want you to focus on your studies first and foremost and not working a 40 hour week. Um, but during official school breaks and holidays, you can actually work more hours and it can be up to 40 hours per week. Um, as I mentioned, there's no special permission needed, so you do not need to apply with the immigration authorities for this type of on-campus employment. Okay, so that can be a nice supplement to your income and just a way to get some practical experience as well. Um, uh, in addition to the paid experience, you can take uh, one of our many legal clinics that we offer at the law school. So LLM students find um, some of them really enticing and take them for academic credit. For example, our immigration law clinic is really popular. Some of our, our tax clinics, public interest clinic, a women's rights clinic, um, housing rights clinic. So there are many, many areas. I think we have about 14 different legal clinics that you can choose from. And as an LLM student, you can take those for academic credit. So although you're not getting paid, you can receive up to six clinic credits as an LLM student and apply that towards your degree. Okay, so that's something you would talk about with your academic advisor if you're interested in taking a legal clinic. And then finally, some options available after your degree is completed. So let's say you're ready to graduate, you hope to stay in the US a little bit longer and get some paid work experience. Well, you can do that as an F1 visa student. There is something called Optional Practical Training or OPT. And this allows the graduate to stay for up to one additional year after graduation and work. Um, and the job must be related to something uh, in the law or the legal field because that was your area of study. It doesn't need to be a particular area of law, but it does have to be law related. And so it might be with um, a government agency. It could be with a private law firm, um, community service organization, uh, educational institution, something that relates to law. And it can be part-time or full-time employment and even a combination of different, different jobs. You might have more than one um, OPT employment. Um, the main point is that you don't wanna have too much time unemployed with no job. So the regulations allow you to have up to 90 days maximum of unemployment. So if you don't have a job offer right away at the time of your graduation, that's okay. You can still be approved for OPT, but hopefully you will find some type of, of OPT job within that 90 day window, okay? Because if a student did not find any work at all within the 90 days, they would have to depart the US at that point. Uh, but I can't think of any students who weren't able to find something that fulfilled OPT and got them working within that 90 day window. And some graduates have already have a job offer before they graduate or soon after graduation. Uh, we do participate in LLM interview fairs um, on both coasts, so the East Coast and West Coast. Um, NYU, New York University hosts one, uh, usually every January or February, um, and we are part of that consortium of law schools, so our students are invited to participate in those interviews. And there are international and national employers there who are interested in the talents that our LLM uh, graduates bring to the table. And also in Los Angeles, we participate in an LLM interview fair and that's hosted by UCLA. They're one of our West Coast um, consortium partners and our students are also allowed to uh, and encouraged to participate in that fair. So not every law school in the country offers these to students. You have to be part of the consortium. So we're very happy to belong to both, both sides of the US on both coasts. Um, finally, for post-degree employment, you get support from our career services office here at USD. Um, 
They're obviously there to help our JD students as well, but they are also there for LLM students. And so they can help you with a job search, um, especially for your post-degree OPT options. Um, they can also look at your resume and maybe suggest ways to um, tweak it a little bit to bring it in line more with a U.S. standard of what a resume would look like or contain. Um, for example, many of us probably have a CV that's more than one page, maybe three pages, four pages. Uh, but here in the U.S., it's best to reduce that to one page if possible. That's what employers like to see. So that would be something our career services office could help you do. Um, they can also review cover letters that you would like to attach to job applications. Um, they used to, I'm not sure if they still do provide uh, free business cards showing that you're a USD graduate. Um, I can check and see if that's still available. And finally, they can help you with mock interviews to help you better prepare for any interviews that you do have coming up, okay? So again, just different ways that you might gain practical experience here as an F1 student, whether it's on campus getting paid or whether you're taking a legal clinic or if you're looking ahead to your post-degree employment options with OPT.